Now an anemone is basically the best or the worst thing you ever put in a reef aquarium. If they find a nice spot at the front of your tank and the clownfish dance around inside the anemone, they're absolutely beautiful. On the other hand, if they start moving around the tank everywhere, knocking corals over, stinging corals, um, getting stuck in your power heads, going over your overflow, then they're an absolute pain in the neck. So I warn everyone that's going to buy an anemone, just be aware that it is the best or the worst thing you ever do. See this tank is actually an anemone proof because there's no pumps in it, so therefore the anemone is less likely to get churned up through a pump, which is obviously extremely annoying. Now the anemone gets most of its energy from the light, so it is photosynthetic, and will change colour, will change shape, um, will grow. If you put um, food in the tank for the anemone, like bits of prawn, white bait, whatever, you'll find the anemone can grow quite quickly. Uh, if you don't feed them and they're not getting enough nutrient, they do tend to shrink. If they get hot, they too tend to go white. And then once the temperature's right and they're healthy, they will return back to their normal colour. So, an anemone is not a coral because it's not a sensile organism. It can move. It has got a foot and it can move. So directly related to the jellyfish and can move around the tank. On the other hand, there's things such as heliofungias, which don't have the special relationship with the clownfish. Sometimes the clownfish go in them anyway, sometimes to the detriment of the fungia. But this is a coral, this is a fungia because it's also not sensile. It can move along the bottom, but it can't go up and down the sides. So they're another option. With the fungias too, it's important not to put them anywhere near any rocks that might um, pierce them while they're moving around. Now this is a coral. This is a grabrescence, a euphilia grabrescence. So once again, they all look very similar to each other. But the first one was a true anemone, the second one was a fungia, and the third one was a coral. Once again, the clownfish will also go in these, and often to the detriment of the coral. Sometimes it's totally fine, sometimes it um, is not good. So anyway, anemones are absolutely beautiful. Best off in someone else's tank, I reckon. Anyway, put a little comment down the bottom and tell us your anemone stories.